people ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All of this is my Martian landscape. Somewhere in this room is an African veldt. Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury. And this is... Well then, right now, what shall it be? Out of all this, what do I choose to make a story? I never know where the next one will take me. And the trip, exactly one half exhilaration, exactly one half terror. What are you smiling at? Finally, I get the last laugh. Cheers. And good riddance. It's nicely in your pocket, or I can throw in a shoulder holster for another ten bucks. Mister. Sorry, this is fine. I'll take it just like this. You'll be needing some of these. Bullets. Yeah. Works better that way. You know how to use one of these. I just want to scare him. Him? Prowlers, thieves. Anyone who might steal from me. Oh. Right. I just want to scare him. I just want to scare him. Guess you just got scared to death, eh, Hux? Ha! <laughs> well, you ain't gonna be making a fool of nobody no more. Are you old Dean? Wipe that smile off your face.
Why did you leave me on all this time? Well, I didn't know such thing. I said I would read your story, not publish it. I spent almost a year on this. I worked it into what you told me it should be. Well, it's no good. None of it is. It never was. Let's face it, Acton. You have no talent. You never have, and you never will. I never would have wasted any time with you at all. All the promises just lies. No, no, I was doing Mary a favor. A favor? In return for what? Isn't that what you want? Come in, old bean. Close the door. Take off your coat. Fingerprints. My fingerprints. Oh, my God. I almost blew it. Didn't I, old bean? You would have loved that. Acting the fool. No talent as a writer. And no talent as a murderer. Wise <laughs> to your tricks. Fine bottle of scotch in the cabinet here. The last Here's to your Mary. I warned you to stay away from my wife. Well, it's all over now, Acton. It's all over between us. Relax, okay? Relax. She told me she was leaving me. This, this is a Fabrizio. Hmm? Here, here is something from the Ming Dynasty. Feel that texture. Go ahead. Huh? Here. This is a piece of pre-Columbian. It's a great house. You must take the grand tour. Stop patronizing. Extraordinary chess set. Really remarkable. Touch this. Feel this richness. Stop. You and your money, you damn 
things. I didn't come here to talk about things. I came here to kill you. Well, of course you did. Touch that. Better safe than sorry. More fingerprint! Gloves. There's gotta be gloves in here somewhere. Free, I promise you. Reclamation. 
You must see my house. Come here ready to kill with no ammunition, huh? How dumb you are. What a crumb you are. No wonder Mary loathed you. Laughed about you. Gutless wonder. Ah, you spineless weasel. What a gutless wonder. What a spineless weasel you are. You. Shut up. Every time she hears your dumb name, you choke keep your laughing all the time. I don't see them Shut up. Shut up. I didn't muddle it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Through to the bottom of the pool. It's impossible. He couldn't have done that. Thank you. 
Every piece has a print on it. Gotta find every piece. Gotta find every piece. Polish every piece. Hux, darling. Mary. Me? You want Hux? I'll give you Hux. Down here. All right, upstairs. He's up here. Good morning. I'm almost done. <laughs> All right, take him away. Crazy. What is? Oh, last week I had to tell Huxley probably less than a month to live. Are you his doctor? Doctor. Neighbor. Friend. He had terminal cancer. Did you know the guy who killed him? Acton? Mm -hmm. mm, not really. Met him a couple of times. Strange bird. Writer. Funny. Guess in the way he did Huck's a big favor. Thank you.